Welcome to the video. Here we go. Got the ladder loaded. We got two appointments today and go look at the job in San Marcos. Cold start. <laughs> We don't need a key no more. It's just a fob, so we just and there it opens. Step in, step into my office. <laughs> Gotta love it, baby. Gotta love it. And we're off. All right, guys. So today is a pretty chill, easy day. Um, we got to go look at two appointments for today two jobs give them some bids the first one is a repair the second one is a complete re-roof of the flat section um so i'll take you on the roof to go measure that um it's already measured before we get there um because my mom which is our secretary measures the roof before we get there so we have the information so we can give a price right then and there a verbal and our verbal are always 100 percent the truth so whatever we tell you word word for word is what you'll get in a contract nothing will change everything's labeled on that contract everything we talk to with with the customers who know your next our next customer can be you but anyways so that's what we got today um and then we'll shoot over to san marcos uh, i think they're still in, still doing that um we pulled the permit for that yesterday so we'll go check that out um and then that's pretty much about the whole day um i got a dope video coming up i don't know if you guys know but i love snakes so what i'm getting in a few days what's today friday saturday sunday monday it's from four days i'm getting a shipment of reptiles uh from bob vu balls bob's balls uh ball python breeder i'm excited i hope you guys are too so let's just get after it. i don't want to talk about it too much but let's get after it uh you know we're gonna go stop the starbucks first give me a, a cold brew you know what i mean um so let's get it all right so check it out we're here san diego Customer has the roof painted. Check the back real quick. It's a little tile roof. It's all elastomeric painted, the silicone on it. It's called the Last of Bright or something bright. You got your drain to go to this roof. All this flows down this roof to this here, flows down to here. And all this kind of flows down this way. You can tell it's angled that way. Shoots to that drain. Let's see. See, there's a repair right here because, look, they painted it. A little bit extra here. You can tell. See? It's all cracking. All this is cracks. See? So definitely need to redo this. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Skylights, you gotta take those off, put frames, um, two by four or two by six frames and sh sh up it. <sighs> definitely water's going in there. So let's just, oh, we can't fix that anyways. So that we can just help them out, but we can't do that. We roof this section of the roof. We roof this flat section. This all has to come off, even this metal. Replace new metal, everything comes off, replace these drains. That's with, oh, well, there's one here. They must have just went over this because look, <laughs> there's nothing. Uh, nothing up here. Anyways, so all this gets torn off. Corners, metal, flashings, all this gets thrown off over there done deal come back with the three ply um, which is base smooth granulated that gets done um, new metal here new flashings um, what else new flashings new metal much about it with the white roof new shingles they don't use three tab anymore there's three dimensional like those right here on this roof just like that these are Grand Sequoia presidential shingles as we call them I really like those I really like these right here. These are nice. For some reason, that looks like it's done wrong, but I know it's not, but I feel like it is. Just that pattern looks weird. Anyways, but yeah, this is that first one. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna measure it. Um, to measure something like this, it's simple. So you go 
you go from here, because you have to go up and over. So you go from here, up, down, over here, walk over here, up, here, this far, that way. And then you go from up here, down, that way, and you get this little square right here. Or what you can do is just go from up, down, over, all the way that way. And you get this square. You gotta go up and over here to oh, up and over here too though. To about right here. Because in this piece will so it's all wrapped like double on this section. So you go here, up, down, to here. To right here. But up in here. And then you get your walls. You get the measurements for your walls. Up and over, up and over, and that'll cover overlap here to about right here. So that's where that overlap is. So that measures from here that way. Then you go from here up the walls like that up to those same same deal here to here, but over there up. And these are taller, so you just add that. Whatever, how many feet? Foot and a half, two feet. Up here, three feet. Boom. Same thing here, and that'll cover this section. Shingle roof is a square. Go down from here, down there, cross, boom, get that section. And so it's this square, that square, and this is just a big old square. So just up and over here, all the way down there. Go about where the size of that wall is right there on each side and go straight across because your torso will go up that, done deal. From here, half, and it'll just cover this whole square. Show you about it. Cuenta los flashings. Um, you got a four inch oval T-top, three inch. Oh, and another drain here that doesn't lead to anything, which is kind of weird. It's kind of closed off. Four inch, four inch, inch and a half. Kind of just jot everything in your mind because you have to write it down, measure it, give the price. Good to go. So yeah, that's what we got going today. This is the first one. Um, we got one more to review jobs and remember we got to add in You can't just park your trailer up because look how, look how close this is That's my truck right there. I'm just doing it because it's quick So you got to bring that trailer like perfectly up to here Just in the space so people can pass by so it has to be hand carried it has to be hand carried You got to also include that in your bid because it's that's what you guys have to do. It's not free um, So yeah, so let's get out of here before I take up too much of the time here and somebody wants to pass, don't forget the flash in there too. Yeah, all right guys, let's head to the next one and get out of here. All right guys, little recap, flat roof. Uh, we always use three ply torch on a flat roof, base smooth granulated. Um, kind of went over how we measure as well. It's pretty consistent with the flat roof. What was on it was that elastomeric uh, paint. Um, also another roof application for flat roof is TPO. Um, it's a single ply roof. <laughs> Uh, I, I believe it's Den's deck and then a, gosh dang, I can't see the GPS. Another single ply. Gotta make sure nobody's around here. Um, but yeah, um, that's what we offer, three ply. We don't really do the TPO. Um, <clears throat> we don't have the machinery to do it. It's, it's quite expensive to get the machinery. I think just for the generator and what they call the dog and the wand, it's like 20 some grand. Or like 20, 30 grand, I guess. Um, but we don't do it anyways, so, but yeah, let's head to the next one. The next one is also a re-roof as well, so I will show you guys that one, and let's get to it. All right, check it out, guys. Record on the phone. They have leaking here in this corner from this chimney. Um, they painted with that last turmeric from the previous roof we just looked at. So this is like the same ordeal. Let me tell there's some patchwork going on here. Let's see, look. It's coming up. Water fire going in and flowing down that way. Again, with this parapet, I always recommend to measure it. They went up and over because they have drip metal right here and the shingles. So when we do, we tear this off, put new metal and probably put new these first or these first two or last two whatever way you look at it these will be new because we have to tear this off so these will be new we'll put new here and we'll put felt but it'll go under this one and then kind of match it right here so overlap that one will be brand new around the whole thing wherever their shingles at we do the uh new ones 
And whoever did this did a pretty solid job. I mean, look, they put the corners, cut it, slimed it, put it up here, put uh, either caulking or that mastic, the Henry's right here. Um, and then they, they did a real good job. Went up and they put it down here. So this torch right here will go up to about right here. And then this will go all the way down here so you don't get that leaking. This is the only spot that you get. Good job whoever did this. Same ordeal, it's done right. You leave this little gap right here as a bleeder so when you burn it and you push it, this goo goes right here and doesn't fall down that way. Good, yeah, this is probably a little too much than I would like, but hey, gets the job done. And you can tell the ponding with all these roofs by the stagnant water and the dust. Um, they have a drain there, a drain there. Um, and there should be one over here. Yeah, a drain there, right over there. Um, I think that's about it because either it flow, it, I think it's all flowing that way and that way, so that's why it kind of goes over. Um, and then you have this E riser right here. Look, it's coming up. This kind of just holds the water. I don't really like it, but you now some people do. All this will come off completely, tear it off. All brand new drip metal, brand new uh, metal cap sheet metal. Um, the torch goes under like this I read originally that comes off um, the skylight gets redone if we need to take that off if this is kind of failed and put an actual frame um, with like that kicker on it all this gets done it's all pretty much new flashings um, you can kind of tell which way it flows because like the way they did it it all's flowing towards that drain and you can tell look at they switched this this one this way so this must be the middle and it splits that way so that flashing is that way and that flashing is that way and then it comes this way since the roof flows down and these flashings go down that way so it was done right oh yeah right here 100 percent silicone roof coating yeah they just used that for over there but yeah pretty pretty simple process um it's a solid roof um they they're just looking for a uh, re-roof bid so we go three ply base smooth granulated as usual get it done from look at this view on this roof downright beautiful god you gotta love this job you see the coolest views you get to go to the coolest places great customers we try to offer the best service that we can um and that's just what we do so what i'm gonna do is just take a quick guesstimate we have the measurements in the truck, so I'll go look at the truck, go look at that, make sure it's all accurate and all that stuff. We'll do the same thing as for this, since we know where the torch starts, you go from here, up, down, all the way over, up, over, same thing. And what I would do is just go from here this way, and I would just add. So it would go from here that way, all the way back, and I would just add for this half of a square. Um, or maybe a full square because a roll has to be cut. And then, so eh, about half a square. Since we're going from that all the way here, we'll just cut this off. So to square this off that way. And when you measure over here, you just go flat this way. So it's this up and over. So you get these walls and then that wall, you don't have to go up. So it's just flat right here. So you get everything's true measurement. And then for this, just add half a square. Cause you'll be, if you go straight from that point right there, right here, come all the way this way it'll just be from here and just this wall right here in this section which should be half a square because you have all of your overlap your wrap and all that stuff and then it'll just i'll just add half and i'll just cut that and just go make this a complete square and measure just this and square this off right here so this will be squared off for the last measurement and do it that way then just count all your flashings that you have everything's pretty simple it's all two two inch inch and a half flashings inside for the four inch right here so you have one, two, three, four inch and a half, one, two, three, two inch, and one T-top seven inch, and one oval five inch, or regular five inch flashing there with the mirror cap. Then you got your drains over there. Um, one, two drains. And then I believe this is just flows onto this flat roof right here. Yeah, it just flows on this flat roof and just shoots that way. I'm, I'm guessing this might just be an overflow, or these might be overflows, but it looks like a majority of the water kind of hits here. I think these just might be just a secondary, just in case. But yeah, pretty simple. And um, they do have a crack in their skylight right here. 
um, and the seams are breaking. As you can see, they try to reseal around. So I'll also throw that in the bid and also when I go back down, talk to him about that. Pretty much about it. So yeah, let's get after it and go back down there and give him a price.